वेलकम टू अनदर क्लास नाउ वी गोइंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो दिस इज 2018 क्वेश्चन पेपर बैंगलोर यूनिवर्सिटी सी द क्वेश्चन ए कंपनी सोल्ड 1000 मशीन इन ईयर 2017 दैट इज द सोल्ड दैट इज 1000 मशीन सी द क्वेश्चन ओनली वन मटेरियल 80000 इट इज कम्स अंडर द फर्स्ट स्टेप दैट इज अंडर प्रिंट कॉस्ट वेजेस 120000 इट इज आल्सो अंडर द प्रिंट कॉस्ट manufacturing expenses manufacturing expenses is comes under factory overhead then salary see wages for the workers need to pay so it comes under pay cost salary it is comes under office overhead next one rent rate any kind of taxes it is also comes under office overhead then uh, selling expenses it is comes under selling overhead general expenses General expense is nothing but like printing and stationery. Then any kind of other gross expenses, it is also comes under office overhead or administrative overhead. Then in the problem they given sales. So how much is sales here? Four lakh. So by using those four lakh, you need to identify profit. The company plans to manufacture thousand two hundred units in two thousand eighteen. So up to year, up to year, that is two thousand seventeen. Question two thousand seventeen. We need to record the original cost. Then in 2018, we need to produce how many units here? Thousand two hundred units. Those information we have to record under estimated cost. Here they give one profit on 10 percent on sales. In this question they give one profit on sales. Whereas in the previous question we did uh, with a different situation. Next one material raised by 20 percentage, wages raised by. Five percentage. Those things we need to calculate on per unit value. Manufacturing expenses will rise in proportion to combined cost of material and wages. Manufacturing expense will rise in proportion to combined cost of combined cost of material as well as wages. How much is increasing? This is twenty percentage. This is five percentage. So we can consider twenty-five percentage on the prime cost. Next one. Selling expenses decrease by 10 percentage. It is decreasing. Other expenses will be unaffected by raising output. Which are the other expenses? That is uh, salary, rate and rent, selling expenses, general expenses. These are the things which is not changed. They remain the same. I go for the preparation of first one. What is the cost sheet? First one material means there is no any kind of. Uh, Opening stock and closing stock. They only give one now. Cost of material consumed that is eighty thousand plus wages. Wages is one lakh twenty thousand. Then manufacturing expenses salary is comes under factory overhead. So total two lakh. It is called as. Prime cost. For the prime cost, we need to add factory overhead. So which are the factory overhead here? I think only one. That is manufacturing expenses. So how much is manufacturing expenses? That is fifty thousand. So total that is uh, the cost. That is two plus five. That is two lakh fifty thousand. Then add office overhead. When come to office overhead, which are the expenses here? That is uh, salary. Salary is sixty thousand. Next one. Mm, rent and rate. Rent and rate it is ten thousand. Then uh, selling expenses sorry selling expenses comes under the selling overhead. Then uh, general expenses general expenses ten thousand. Next one uh, selling and the sales is uh, next one that is uh, cost of production. See in this problem, they are not given any kind of uh, closing stock. Two lakh fifty thousand sixty eighty. This 
3 lakh 5000 for the cost of production there is any kind of closing stock leave it off plus selling over it so much selling over here that is your sales expenses how much that is 30,000 that is total 3 lakh 7,000 This one take it as total cost. For the total cost, we need to add that is profit. Profit we don't as of now. So go for sales. So much sales here. Sales in the property given that is 4 lakh. 4 lakh is sales. The cost is 3 lakh 70. So what is the profit amount? So profit amount here that is 30,000. So my sales is 4 lakh. My profit is 30,000. Like this end of your virtual cost. Next one, say my identify your per unit value. So when you come to per unit, they are not given any kind of information about production. They give information only about sold. How many units they sold? Only thousand machines. It means what? We produce thousand, we sold entire thousand units. There is no any kind of closing stock here. So for entire things take it as thousand as basic. That is uh, 80. 120. I think you know the calculation. That is uh, 8000 divided by 1000, 1 lakh divided by 1000, 2 lakh divided by 1000. Like if you need to go in free for in free. Next one, 50. That is uh, 250. Then for 60,000, 10,000, 20,000, you are getting total. That is 90. Cost of production is 340. Then selling expenses is 30 rupees. Next one, 100. 100. total cost that is 37, sorry, 370. And uh, profit is 30 rupees. So total selling price per unit is 400 rupees. So per unit is 400. How many units we produce? That is 1000. So 400,000 is 400,000. Next one, when it comes to estimate cost sheet, we should not prepare any kind of working out here. Why in the sense? Because for individual item, they are going to give you some kind of adjustment here. Whereas when you come to previous video, they even adjustment only for material and wages. They are not given any kind of information about with regard to any kind like uh, factory or administrative or in an office or. Whereas when you come to this question, they given individual adjustments like separately. So you should not prepare any kind of working out. They keep off for the format that is estimated cost sheet. Estimate cost sheet for 2018. When come to estimate cost sheet, how many units we need to produce? That is, we need to manufacture 1000. 200 units. Let's take it as per unit. Go through the question one by one. Profit 10% on sales. Next one. Material raised by 20%. When you come to materials, material is variable over it. So it is considered per unit. So much per unit here. 80 rupees. It is increasing and decreasing. It is raised by 20%. So add 20 percentage that is we are getting 8 to the 16 that is uh, 80 plus 16 per unit where is 96 if it is variable over it we need to consider per unit if it is fixed over it we need to consider total amount next one material is got over next one when come to wages wages also will rise by 5 percentage wages it is variable over it how much is wages here 120 rupees into 
फाइव परसेंटेज वन टर्न इंटू फाइव परसेंटेज इस सिक्स रुपीस डेट इस वन ट्वेंटी प्लस सेस डेट इस वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स आंसर इस कॉल्ड एस प्राइम कॉस्ट नाइनटी सिक्स इंटू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड it is 11,520, sorry, 115,200, then wages, next one, that is, if you get your prime cost, so what is the value of prime cost here, prime cost is 222, that is, uh, Two lakh sixty-six thousand four hundred. Then important that is uh, factory audit. See, when you come to factory audit, they give information about uh, manufacturing expenses. Manufacturing expenses will rise in proportion to combined cost of say combined cost of material and wages. Combined cost of material and wages is how much here? Prime cost two lakh sixty-six thousand. 400 will rise in proportion. So how much materials and wages? Same amount it is increasing by manufacturing expenses total amount. That is we need to consider how much materials is increasing. That is 20 percentage plus how much is wages is increasing. That is 5 percentage. So much total. That is 25 percentage on total cost. On which total cost? That is material. Material and wages. That is two lakh sixty six thousand four hundred into twenty five percentage. That is sixty six thousand six hundred. And come to per unit value. Sir, can we see the over? We need to get fifty five point five. So this is important. And come to manufacturing expenses. This is important. What we are getting the value is called as. Per cost, that is three lakh thirty three thousand, and come to here two seventy seven point five zero. Next one, that is office audit. See the question: Is there given any kind of information about office expenses? First one, profit there, major we completed, wages over, manufacturing expenses we completed. Selling expenses decrease. It is comes on step uh, next step. Other expenses will be unaffected by raising output. Which are the other expenses here? Other expenses nothing but your office overhead. Office overhead will not going to be changed at all. It remain the same. Next one. Next question. Whether I need to consider 90 rupees or I need to consider the office overhead expenses. See salary. It is. Fixed or variable. So when come to variable, is nothing but if my sales is increasing, even the other expense also is going to be increasing. It is called as variable overhead. Example: Material. I purchase how much material here? Eighty thousand. If I sold so much like uh, two thousand in the sense, even the material is going to be increasing. If I sold only five hundred units, the material is going to be decreasing. So it is comes under depending on sales. If any expenses is increasing or decreasing, it is called as variable overhead. When come to fixed overhead, irrespective of your sales, the expenses remain same. See an example: rent rate every month or every year. I need to pay how much of rent here? Ten thousand. If my sales is increasing, also I need to pay the uh, rent is ten thousand. If sales is decreasing, also I need to pay the same rent amount. So it is called as fixed overhead. General expenses it is also comes under fixed overhead. Salary to my employees. But uh, few companies they are going to give on the basis on uh, sales, but almost 99 percentage companies they are going to pay fixed salary. In respect of their sales, they are going to pay fixed salary. So this also comes under your fixed overhead. These are all the three information is comes under fixed overhead. So when come to here, the amount is going to be fixed here. That is salary plus rent plus general expenses. It is a kind of fixed overhead. When come to fixed overhead, amount is going to be fixed. So, what is the amount here? 
70 that is 9000 this is important whereas when come to previous suggestions and all for every two years value is going to be changed as based on unit minute identify the amount value and come to here minute identify the amount value by using amount value unit identify the per unit that is 9000 divided by 1200 that is 75 that is 4 lakh 23000 that is income to here 352.50 it is called as cost of production this is the question includes all the adjustments next one that is uh, selling overhead when it comes to selling overhead they go on to give the adjustment about uh, selling expenses selling expense decreased by 10 percentage so much selling expense here that is certain rupees given selling expense is kind of variable depending on sales the sales expense is going to be varied so when to consider per unit value that is uh, 30 it is decreasing when come to decreasing and to minus that is minus 10 percentage and getting 27 rupees 27 into 1200 that is 30,400 cost of production plus selling overhead it is called as total cost or cost of goods sold that is 4 lakh 45,000 400 per year is 79.50 next one at end I need to identify either profit or loss here but in the problem itself we are going to give it a kind of Profit here. What is the profit in uh, told here? Profit is 10% on sale. Profit is 10% on sale. Formula cost plus profit equals selling price. Profit is how much here? Profit is 10% on sale. So take it as sale as 100. So what is the cost? So cost is 90%. I will find the problem. They give any kind of sales here. They are not giving any kind of sales, but they given cost here. So, what is the cost amount? That is 4,55,400. It is for 90 percentage. 4,55,400. It is for 90 percentage. So, what is the value for 10 percentage? I don't know. So, go for cross multiplication. That is 4,55,400 into 10 divided by 9. That is 50,000. 642.17. So, what is my total sale now? That is, sale is 5 lakh 6000. My unit value 42, 421.67. Even you can go for 4 lakh 45,400 into 100 divided by 90 will be getting sale value. That is 5 lakh 6000. In this method also you can identify for sale. This is the problem about cost sheet under both original cost sheet as well as estimated cost sheet. If you have any question, please drop a question in the comment section. We will going to answer for you. Thank you.